Hello in the Dexterverse. I want to show you real quick how to add in a, a voice to your Dexter. The most difficult part is actually just getting this cable connected in right here. You can see the Cat5 or, or network connector cable. Right behind it, there's actually a place for a USB uh, input into Dexter. You can plug in a hub, or in this case, I've just plugged in a little extender cable, which allows me to hook other things in. Um, I can hook a hub in here with this, uh, which is currently strapped up there. Uh, but just to show you a simpler version of it, all I've done here is just taken this and plugged in a, um, a, a little speaker. This particular unit is something that I found on uh, Amazon. It has a little audio adapter in it and an amplifier and uh, the actual speaker. It doesn't have any volume control on it, but that's okay. You can actually control the volume in software. And uh, our processor board running Unix actually does support uh, speaking. You can start off uh, testing this just by, uh, or making sure that it's working correctly, by going and logging into Dexter via SSH and then looking at the, um, the dev, the devices. So if you go ls forward slash dev, let's see whether or not that's gonna scroll off the screen. No, it's okay. Right up here we have this guy, audio, and that will show up whenever the uh, speaker is plugged in. It won't be if it's not. And uh, once that's in there and working, then there is some software that you need to do, some setup that needs to be done here. Uh, if you go to our wiki on the GitHub site and you look under uh, actually issues, there is an issue for a USB audio adapter to speak or listen. Uh, you'll find a link to that particular item that I purchased, which I think is this one uh, or yeah I think it's that one if I remember correctly one of these two uh, that guy uh, is the is the little speaker and adapter that was plugged in um, and this walks you through then doing a little bit of setup in order to make sure that uh, you know your your device is there and uh, then how to um, uh, install a the, the configuration files to allow Ubuntu that's running on the robot to be able to find that device and then send to it. And then I also uh, go into how to install eSpeak, which is the um, this, this simple little voice synthesizer. Um, and once you have that and do a little bit of scripting, then you can have a, a fun little thing that allows Dexter to say, Hello world. Hello world. Let me uh, move this phone back over here to the robot so you can actually hear that. Hello, world. Isn't that a fun robotic voice? Um, a little bit of extra work with DDE, making sure that you have the, the, the version of DDE that's on the robot updated to the current version will then allow you to actually um, use DDE to say things. Now... DDE on the PC has a voice synthesizer built into it. I'll show you that. Hello, world. Now notice that that uses a female voice in the actual software, not such a robotic voice, but that's because um, the PC has the extra computing power uh, that makes that possible. But this exact same job can then be uh, copied into the robot and... Uh, without any difference whatsoever. There it is, same exact job, same setup. And then we can use the user interface or the, the online web interface. If you go to just Dexter's IP address, uh, you'll get this little web page that he can serve up. And then if you have it set up correctly, there is a way to run job engine jobs through the browser interface, which I'm gonna use to demonstrate that here. So then if I go to speak hello, hopefully it will run that job. Hello world. And there you heard Dexter saying hello world. So you can uh, have a nice voice interface with all your scripts that are running on the robot. That's really nice because 
Dexter typically does not have a screen on board, so this is a way that you can actually uh, get some feedback about what's going on with Dexter when you're running your job engine jobs. Hope that helps.